the university is delivering live and interactive online teaching using the Zoom software. This brief video guide will show you how to download Zoom, log into your accounts, join your courses and give some few basic tips on using the software. So let's begin by downloading the software and logging in. Open your preferred web browser and go to the URL hkust.zoom.us download. Please note that there is no need to be concerned about the .us domain name as this website is widely available throughout the world. The university recommends that you run Zoom on a laptop or a desktop. It is however available for mobile devices as well and you can download the app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. However today we will be downloading the software onto a laptop. So you click the download button and it automatically recognises whether you are running a Windows machine or an Apple Mac machine. In this case we are on a Mac. Downloads the package to install the software. So you double click on the download and then you follow the normal process of installing software onto your computer. When the download is complete the Zoom sign in window will appear. So you click on sign in. At this stage you do not want to set up an account, so ignore the left hand side of the sign in. What you will do instead is log in using your HKUST login. So click on the single sign on button at the top and put in the domain for the university HKUST and press continue. This will then take you to the university login page, so put in your username and your password and click sign in. The web browser will then ask you to launch the software, so you can click on open and you will get the Zoom home screen. You can tell that you are logged in if you look at the top right because it will show your initials or a photograph if you've added one to your profile later. From the Zoom home screen you can set up a meeting with friends or a project group but please note that any meetings are limited to a maximum of 40 minutes. However you can simply end one meeting and immediately start another. You can also join Zoom meetings here but please make sure that you're logged in by checking the top right hand corner before you do. Now let's look at joining courses. There are several ways that you can join a course. For example, a tutor may send you a direct link with a meeting ID. However, the most common way will be to use Canvas. So you go to your web browser and you go to the website canvas.ust.hk. This reaches the sign in page and you want to sign in using your usual student login through the single sign on screen. Having logged into Canvas, you can go to the courses tab to see your list of courses. Here we have one demo course set up. So click into that and you'll see amongst the options on the left hand menu bar we have Zoom meeting. Click through to Zoom meeting and you'll see a list of all of the upcoming meetings that are scheduled. You can also access the previous meetings and if you click on cloud recordings you can see videos of meetings that have already occurred. For the upcoming meeting you'll see that there's a join button on the right hand side so for the meeting that you want to attend you simply click the join button and this will launch the Zoom software. You will also see at the top right there is a get training link through to the Zoom help center and on the left hand side Zoom video tutorials which you can watch when convenient. During the add drop period it may be that you have yet to enroll for a class but would still like to sit in. A full list of classes can be found by going to the website registry.ust.hk forward slash Zoom class. This website provides a full list of all the upcoming class meetings in Zoom with the meeting ID and a link to join the meeting of your choice. Finally, let's look at some basic tips about using Zoom. The first thing to note is that you need a reasonable internet connection of around 10 megabytes per second. You can check the speed of your internet connection by going to a speed test website appropriate for the country in which you are accessing the internet. Here in Hong Kong, speedtest.ofca.gov.hk forward slash speedtest is a recommended site. If you have a slow internet connection then you can try using an ethernet cable rather than Wi-Fi or you can seek out a new Wi-Fi network at a different location. Ultimately if you're having connection problems you can disable the video within the Zoom software. When attending a Zoom meeting ideally you should be by yourself in a quiet room. If there is any noise or more than one person attending a Zoom meeting in the same room then each user must wear headphones with a built-in microphone to avoid feedback and other interruptions to the class. Thank you for listening to this brief tutorial and enjoy the live and interactive learning experience of HKUST via Zoom.